Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with History Lord of the Hindered Demand. Now, uh. This doesn't sound like the most brilliant situation, you know? Um. Alright then. I'm just gonna unlock the tool cabinet instead and I'm going to completely not look at what the fuck is going on behind me. That is a really good price. I'm gonna grab that. I might be able to go straight to the commissary. Um. Marked man? What's been going on here? Who are you? You're a Bowie knife there. That looks cool. Also quite expensive, so... Yeah. Is it a David Bowie knife? No problem not. Ah, I guess we're approaching... Okay, let's repair the terminal. Something just did something. All oh, right, this is the center one. Careful! It hurt my. You hurt my ED. Be careful, you big sentry bot. So is the tip of the iceberg radioactive? Or is it something else? This is not literally a... Dinky. An iceberg. Alright, well... This looks like there was some stuff going on here. Alrighty then. I feel like we might have missed something. One of the arc weather, thank you. I like those, I think. It actually dried any. I suppose I like the idea of them, yeah? What is this? We can activate the silo mainframe. Alright, we need the codes first. And we need to open that before we can do anything else there either. So I guess that's the door we need to use. I see you. General Martin Retzlaff. I actually want this outfit. I've always wanted to be a US Army General. No, no, I haven't actually, but you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Open the doors. We look around. All we have is an empty whiskey bottle, sir. Oh, there we go. There is also some knowledge to be found. Oh, a plasma rifle? Nah, I don't need that. I'll take the ammo though. Anything in the toolbox? Scrap metal, mother glue, and something else, which I don't remember by now. Because I don't have the best of memory. What sort? Oh, that's a plasma mine. Okay, a plasma mine, and I guess that's a pulse grenade. Yeah, okay. Alright, I think we should be able to move on now. You be a good sentry dirt thingy. Okay, you can do this. Don't launch the nuke. Uh, 
gate from What doors am I opening? Oh, those doors, okay. In that case, we're cool. Hi. You're a bit closer to my liking than I would like. Oh, the mask took my hat off. I need to put my hat back on. Use one additional per perception thing. So the speech bonus is no longer useful, I don't think. Alright, well... I think armor piercing might be the way to go here. Assuming there's additional enemies around. You're a friend, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. They have kept their status as having been hacked. Awesome. Uh, is it light armor? Yes, it is. Thank you. You, you... Apparently don't have armor. That doesn't sound very truthful of you. For a moment there, I was worried that I accidentally used the Joshua Graham armor. To replace shite. Luckily not. These armor sets appear to be quite expensive, actually. See? Quite expensive, but... Here's the thing. Look at the full-on US Army General... ...outfit now. For whenever, whenever I need the US Army General. Whoops. You know, I should've paid more attention to that. Hmm. This is the first time I actually used the thingy and it actually didn't pay off. What a wonderful situation that it was. Yeah, let's just pick the lock safer that way. Then we're gonna get the first aid box. I hope they auto-inject bloody steam packs, don't auto-inject each other at the same bloody time. Like the whole lot. Because while that would be amazing, that would also mean a lot of auto-injected thingies lost. Yeah. There's your signal, faint, but there, just like NCR. Voice without fire, without strength, sick. Her tales of you walking the Mojave, giving the two-headed bear strength, giving hollow men like Kimball, like Crocker, half the life Hanlon had. Now, let's test that strength, that conviction, courier. How are you speaking to Edie? The robot with you. All of them are machines, radios, old world tech reshaped with new hands, historians, couriers carrying messages. Seen them as I've walked the divide, tending other machines. That one, sealed inside the Hopeville silo. Sign America is waking up. It will follow you, obey you. Carry it until we are face to face. Then there'll be no more need for it to carry my words. What is this place? The Divide. This place is a slice of it. Old military. Can still smell the pride. And the fear. Hope of the old world. Wrapped in fencing. Covered in storm. Got new inhabitants now. Other than ghosts. More recent. Recruits. Area looks like it ha was hit by with earthquakes or underground detonations. America sleeps in the divide. 
giants beneath the earth. You saw one locked in the silo beneath you. There's more. Only takes a few of them locked to the low ground to tear apart the earth and cast dust, sand, ash into the skies above. You'll see the extent, the miles of it, soon enough. You'll need to see it. Walk it. For now, eyes alert. Watch the streets below. There's still life in the divide. Threats other than the storms and wind. New inhabitants. It doesn't look like anyone's alive down there. These new inhabitants, not natives, most of them, came with duty, purpose, ready to kill each other. The divide was stronger. Left marks on them too. Not bear, not bull. Now, radiations marked them, made them equal in history's eyes. As vicious as the storms are, these shadows of Legion, of NCR, silhouettes of things to come. Those bodies in the silo were NCR soldiers, some special forces. Might have been. Once. To the Divide they came. In the Divide, they rest. If you saw their corpses, you saw mercy. Got what they deserved, coming to the Divide. The Bear and Bull. NCR Legion came in waves before and after, right into the invisible fires, the wind ground collapsing beneath them. Once under different flags, now they are equal in their hatred of the trespassers, you and I. They look like they were skinned, then got right back up. Even as the fires here burned them from within, the winds of the Divide tore their skin, exposed them, screaming to the sky. And just as the Divide tears at them, so they tear at each other, for sport, like some tribal scarification. Falling back to their history, maybe. No matter what they suffer, the radiation, fire of the Divide, sustains them, makes them stronger. Huh. If they become ghouls, the radiation would strengthen them, heal their wounds, not the scars. There's truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery. Those wounds. They couldn't live otherwise. The divine winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads. No way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there. Have to draw them out. Uh, maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want? I'm a courier. Courier 6. Was Courier 6. Like you. And not like you. In all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still you walk. For now. We've never spoken before. I remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes it's the paths we walk. But no. We've never spoken before now. You may not know my voice, but we've walked the same places. The long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. I've been to your home, the place you kept returning to. May not be the place you were born, was the place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget couriers can keep communities alive until the day they're gone and their breath catches in their throat. So you're the one who sent the radio message? Wait, you were supposed to carry the chip. Meant to. No. Never. Your burden. Weigh you down long enough to let death catch up to you. 
But you survived. There was death in that package. And while the chip is important to old world ghosts, no, you are more dangerous than that chip ever could be. Maybe why you found each other. Little piece of the old world speaking to you, waiting for you to wake something else up with it. Uh, she refused to deliver the chip, thought to set me up to die? We all had death following us. Only a question of how close. You dodged it. For a time. You're good at that. Talent for it. With that chip weighing you down. A burden. Let's death move a little faster without me pulling the trigger. If you wanted me dead, why did you wait? Promises to keep to others. And the Mojave is dangerous enough left to the land. The land has its way. If I wanted you dead, we would have met sooner. Not sure that's the way this ends. Might be that history needs to have its say. If not, then messages will do. Enough talking, you went to a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine, a robot with you, can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. If we share history, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Fine. We'll meet again soon. The divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here, courier. Left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. Another level! Yay! 48 now. Um, I don't know if I want to go for it with Pata. Hmm. I'm gonna do this instead right now. Like, we can leave Pata at 90. It doesn't need to get maxed out. Well, there are benefits to getting more and more of the thingy. Yes. Constituted fire. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's let's go. Yeah. And because we have a karma of very good, the level fifty perk might actually be pretty sufficient because it, per it apparently gives me more health. And that's not actually a bad thing. Health can be really nice to have. There's a garbage bin there. We all know what that means. That means loot. Most likely something extremely useless and we're just gonna turn around. Maybe it's even empty. There's a bottle cap. We take the bottle cap. We need the bottle cap. The bottle cap is our leader now. Alright, I have a suspicion that this area is actually really large. And is that a warhead? Uh, 
That might have been a warhead. Alright, okay. I wish we had Poon. So you could more easily tell where the enemies are. I'm not sure if he's dead or not. But you don't... We're no longer fighting robots. Come on. I think they're not hit your head, sir. I'm surprised that those uh, number plates can paint quite as well, or street signs. Whichever. Neither of the options is actually something that should be able to paint like that. Alright, what do we have here? Anything new? Electrum charge packs. Okay, cool. That is beneficial for both the... What do we need the MRE? Okay, we fought the headquarters of the missile base. That's probably going to be helpful. Grab the caps. Huh. I have business on this roof. I think I killed someone here. Anyway, I might have killed someone here. Oh yeah, he died. Nice. I'll still take his armor. It can be used to repair shite. Plus it seems to be really expensive when it's... In Repair itself as well. Alright. Wait. An enemy marker. Two of them. Can we snipe someone off from here? Yes, we can. Looks like he's a sniper himself. Was a sniper himself, anyway. You could call it a snip off. Namely, I snipped off his thingy. Wait. Okay, I'm quite surprised to actually manage to see me there. It's the flare gun. Are you legit using a flare gun against me? I think it was legit using a flare gun against me. Me! That's. I actually don't have anything to crack there, like, properly. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. We just detonated a warhead.